A while online hot topic. So imagine having a baby at 21 years old. Now imagine having a baby at 16 years old. And now, most importantly, imagine having a baby at 10 years old. Yes, 10 years old. Last week in Spain, a girl gave birth to a, a baby at 10 years old. Imagine that. And so today I have two guests, Anna and Hannah here in the studio to talk about this issue. So, Anna, what do you think? Well, I think it's kind of crazy because when you're 10 years old, you're still a child yourself. And when you actually get a child, when you actually have a child yourself, you kind of lose your childhood, you know? You don't really have time to hang out with friends or just do normal things you actually do when you're a child. Um, so I think it's very crazy and bad and it's probably not going to be a good future for the mother, for the young mother. Okay. And Hannah, so what do you think on this issue of baby, uh, well, a girl giving birth at 10 years old? Um, well, basically, the mother giving birth at young means she doesn't have any chance of an education or anything herself. So it's probably going to be really hard for her to bring up her child. And she's probably going to have financial problems and not be able to earn any money because she hasn't got time to learn to do a job. You'd actually be surprised to know that both the baby and the mother were very healthy after the birth. But um, what was interesting is that the grandmother, who was actually Romanian, uh, she was a Romanian gypsy, actually claimed that it was normal in their culture. Um, so I thought that was very interesting. Um, but the, what was said was that the authorities actually deciding whether to let the girl and her family retain custody of the baby. Um, so, Anna, what do you think? Do you think the baby should have been given to the family? Well, I think it really depends on the girl and the family. Um, if the family thinks that they can support the daughter and also the baby, then I think it's good if the girl can keep the baby. And also, if the girl thinks that she's ready for having a the child, then it would be fair for her to have the baby. Okay, yeah. So, Hannah, do you have anything uh, to add to that? or? Um, well, I agree with Anna that if the girl's prepared to support and look after the baby, then she should be allowed to keep it. Well, as you can imagine, uh, all over the UK, you can actually get advice uh, on sexual health and pregnancies from a number of different places. But as you guys are specifically from Kingston, um, where, where would you go if you were, you know, looking for advice? Um, well, there's actually a charity called um, KU19. Um, they basically support loads of clinics around Kingston, for example, Hawks Right Clinic. Or you can also go to um, YMCA Sturdivant. Um, okay, right. So there's um, some places. There's also a walking centre called the um, Wolverton Centre, uh, where you can go if you think you're pregnant. Okay, so there's quite a few places where you can actually get some advice on sexual health pre and pregnancy. And so now it's come to the end, and I'd like to thank my guests, Anna and Hannah, uh, for coming in. And I'd like to hope that you join us next time for our, another hot topic at wireonline.co.uk